Hey everybody, this is Jason Lee with NextLevelGuitar.com and Carvin Channel. Today I'm bringing you the new CT424. This is Carvin's new uh, 24 fret California carved top guitar. This thing is really cool. It's really versatile. Uh, it's really small, light. Uh, the nice thing with this one, this is the uh, the 4 model. You've got a 3, a 4, and a 6 model. This is the 4 model. So this one has a uh, solid maple top uh, paired up with a mahogany back. Check that out. It's pretty cool. You can see it right there. So they just painted white over that whole maple cap, but you can always get them in clear or get them however you want when they make them for you. Uh, the basic features on this one is going to be your standard uh, two humbuckers right there. Check that out. All right. And uh, we've got the basic uh, master volume right here. Got a tone switch. And then right up here in this little cavity is going to be our three-way. It's nice. It's kind of collective down here, not towards the top like a Les Paul or something. Uh, the nice thing with this model, this is an M model. So the strings do uh, string through the body. If I flip it around right there, there's your, eye, there's your, uh, your little ferrules. And uh, I, this is probably my favorite way to do this guitar because uh, being strung through the body, I think you're going to get more tone. In general, more sustain. Uh, standard, they do come with uh, an ebony fingerboard, and uh, you always have your choice on your order um, of what you want for inlays and frets. Uh, but the ebony is a real nice choice. Uh, standard, I'll flip this over right there. You got your uh, your locking uh, Spurzel tuners right there, which is really cool. Uh, this is a uh, like a glued in set neck right here. You can see the joint right there. Uh, the cool thing with Carvins now is pretty much most of their models, uh, your pickups can be split into a single coil. So right here on our master tone switch, uh, get in on this one and uh, I'll show you. This is really cool. So here's like that push-pull tone pot. There you go. So watch right here. That just pulls up. Up in the up position is going to split the pickups. And uh, that will split both pickups. So you can just use your three-way to determine you know, which ones you want to be on. So in the middle you'll have two single coils obviously in the neck, one single coil on the bridge, one single coil. But just pop it back down and you're, uh, you're back up to your humbuckers. Overall I think it's a really uh, versatile guitar. Uh, being a solid body it's really easily controllable. Uh, easy for blues, rock, um, surf, you know, jazz, pretty much anything depending on you know what your style is. Uh, I'm gonna get into some tones right now so we can hear the difference between uh, our pickups and our switching and everything. Here we go. The, uh, the three-way pickup selector. I'm just going to play the same riff over and over and in between I'm just going to kind of tap that three-way selector so you can hear the difference. I've got everything open, so full volume, uh, open tone right now. I'm start on the neck, all right? Go to the middle and then I'll go to the bridge. So that kind of gives you a good you know, little array, uh, you know, if you can hear it on the video, uh, with the difference of the tone selector. It's a big jump, especially between uh, the single neck to the single bridge. You can hear it right now. All right, and then I'll go all the way to the bridge. What's nice is you don't really lose much volume. That's the one thing that Carvin did a really good job on, uh, on their impedance winding of the pickups, is that it's, a, it's actually like an offset balance. So this way, you don't have that drop when you go just to the bridge position like most guitars do. That's the one big problem that I've got with a lot of guitars is that the neck sounds nice and full because your neck's more positioned towards, you know, closer to the center of where the strings are. But the bridge is so much by the bridge you tend to lose a lot of that volume. So you end up having to use either a boost or whatever you want to use. But they already kind of take care of that with this one. Alright, so I've split the pickups uh, with our tone switch. I'm going to do the same little riff and just switch through the pickup selector so you can hear it. Uh, I'll give you a few strums first so you can hear the difference. Right, there's the neck, here's our middle. It's a little more even, here's our bridge. Okay. Back to the neck and we'll start. So you can hear it really open up. You know, On the guitar you've got a, a little bit warmer sound uh, with the neck. One thing I like about this model specifically being a 24 fret, it's newer for Carvin, is that they always had a 22 fret in this model. And the 24 fret obviously is going to give you the full access right here. Uh, the, the thing that, that I like is I'm not even necessarily going to the high access sometimes with the two frets, but it does have a completely different feel up here 
Um, I'm a pretty tall guy, and what's nice about it is that I don't feel like I'm crammed like right in here with the 24. I can bring my hand out. Like if I'm barring an F and I'm way over here, it's a lot easier than the 22. So all they've pretty much done is brought that pickup, a little, do the neck pickup a little bit closer into the body this way, but it gives me a lot more movement between, um, you know, the string too. I tend to pluck like right in the middle of the pickups no matter whether around on any guitar. And uh, that's the one thing I really like about the newer 24 fret model as opposed to the 22. It really fits me more and I like the, the you can hear right there a little bit more of that natural low end uh, just between the string bounce. I've gone through some clean tones in the video, but now I uh, add a little bit of uh, distortion inside the amp and I want to show you how this thing kind of rocks out too with just a little bit of a mild overdrive. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing, but kind of pop it into the bridge now. You can hear the difference. I'm in the bridge now. Now I'll play the same thing, but I'm going to back the volume down a little bit. Go back to the middle. So here's our full volume. Back the volume down just a little bit on the pot. So I'm going to bring it down about, let's say, eight and a half, okay? position and I've got our pickup split so I'm pretty much running one single coil neck position right now I've got the same overdrive that we're using I've just done everything on the guitar right here it's a little cleaner a little different than when we turned our volume down with the humbucker position too so it's a really you can see how it actually starts to become a really versatile guitar <laughs> This has been Jason Lee with NextLevelGuitar.com. Make sure to check out our website with over 900 lesson videos and growing. Check out Carvin Channel and CarvinGuitars.com.